Good evening, boys and girls. You notice I said good evening. It has really been a while, like weeks, since I've been out offshore fishing. Six foot, five and a half foot waves. So, last two times I've been out shrimping, dismal, dismal. I had Big John both times. We only caught a handful, almost nothing. So I'm going to go out solo tonight, rather than bring anybody out with me. Have it be a disappointing shrimping night and if the shrimp are running then the next time I come out I'll bring somebody probably Big John but there's a rocket launch tonight also so that'll be kind of cool if it goes up I hope to record it and I hope I can I can catch some shrimp tonight I see a few people putting in already not too many not too bad but I'll get back to you when I uh, get out there. There's a rain cloud over there. I hope it doesn't rain. Get back in a bit. Well, kiddos, it's getting dark. I'm out here in a place called Lopez. There's one, two, me, three, four, five. There's five boats out here. That's not too many. It's real windy, real windy. You hear it? And it's kind of cloudy. The water's kind of cloudy, so I don't know if I'll be able to get a video even if the shrimp are running. So, and it's kind of wavy, so we'll see. I hope so. I'd like to get a video out to you. So, uh, we'll see. Here's the old rocket ship. Go, baby, go. Where else in the world can you come out and catch shrimp? Watch spaceships go into space. I love living here. Oh, man, that is so cool. Going up through the clouds. Go, baby, go. Can't wait till we start seeing the manned spacecraft back out behind that big cloud there now. We'll come out on the other side a little bit. See it getting light on the other side of the cloud. Cool, cool, cool. Wish I had my big camera here. They want to bring it out though in the middle of the night. You can't see everything about ready to go it's about ready to come out it's starting to glow a little bit can't see it yet come on where are you at there glowing up there. There we go. Boom. I don't know if you can hear that or not. That is so cool. Big rumbling. I still see it. Just barely though. See it up there. I hope it's okay. Wow, that was cool. all right. I'm back home. The launch was really cool. Not a whole lot of shrimp, but I got a couple of them. This is a nice big fatty. Seven, a little more than seven inches long. Seven and a quarter inches long. That's a pretty good size shrimp, folks. That's, a, that's one of my biggest ever. One of my biggest ever. There's a... Got enough for a meal for sure. 
Nice big meal. Oh, that's a nice big one too. I don't think he's quite as big as the other one. They're about the same. A couple a little over seven inches. Oh, there's another one. Oh, look at this one. Whoa. Whoa. Daddy's birthday's tomorrow, girls. Seven, about seven and a quarter. Yep. Look at those big fatties. My goodness. Those are shrimp, my boy. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Huh. Love it, love it. Thank you, Lord. For the shrimp. Here's a meal and some bait. Brothers and sisters of the hook, it's been forever since I've been out, and once again, I'm not going to go out with Big John, I'm going to go out with Gary. Big John is in the process of packing and moving. Looks like he's going to be, move, be able to move close by, but there's some situations came up where he had to uh, leave the house that he's been in for the last eight years or so, seven, eight years. Uh, somebody went back on their word and some other kind of crazy stuff. It happens. That's called life, unfortunately. We've been praying for him. And he is, uh, looks like things are starting to work out. So somewhere near the end of this month, we're going to go help him move the big stuff. Move the big stuff. And uh, into an apartment not too far from where I live. So we're going to be uh, neighbors. Anyway, uh, Gary and I are going to head out and try to catch some triple tail. It's supposed to get windy early so we're going to stick close to shore anyway we'll get back to you when we get out to see what it looks like out there been a long time well we've got a strong southwesterly wind strong early we'll see what it looks like at the end of the jetty i don't know what's going to happen here it may be a short short fishing day we'll see <coughs> gary down there holding the boat a little bit of chop. Okay, here we go. Okay, looks like a triple tail. Yeah, I don't think he's big enough. We'll see. I hope he is. Come on. Okay. I think 18, right? I think he, I think he'll make it. I hope so. That'd be great. That would be great, wouldn't it? That would be. Oh, he's getting bigger. Yep. Thank you for your help, Gary. No problem. <sighs> First time I've even seen one of those caught in, in real. Yep. Okay, he swallowed. Oh, there's my, let's see my jig. Let's see if I can get my jig out. I want to keep that jig. Yep. Open up. Say R. R. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's measure this guy up. I don't like getting cut. Yeah, I got a fish grip somewhere. I need a lip -a gripper. I need to take this cell phone out of my pocket because it's binging. All right, here we go. Let me see if I can do this real quick without losing it. Oh yeah, 19, all 19 and a half. Thank you, Lord. One down and. Three to go. Nineteen and a half. Can't beat that. Well, you can beat it. But good. 
Okay. Where there's one, there's more. All right, Gary. Your turn. Brother Gary got himself a triple tail. Woohoo! <laughs> Way to go, Gary! Oh, it might be big enough. You know, it's hard to tell in the water. Come on, Gary. Oh, man. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. It's all right. You had one, though, didn't you? You had one. A little blue or something. little blue, you think? What you got there? Oh, a little whiting. Little whiting. A little croaker or something. A little whiting. That's something different. All right, something different anyway. <laughs>